Hello fellow traders, tis I the Rumpled One, coming to you on Friday, December the 29th, the year's 2023. Let's talk trading. Yearly, monthly, and weekly wrap-up. Yeah, I know I read that in reverse order, but it's the end of the year. And uh, what a year it's been, right? Just so you know, these videos are for educational purposes only. Your results may differ from mine. And I'm just going to, let's just close out the year by saying risk management is important. And that hopefully none of you lost any more on any one single trade than you were willing to lose on any one single trade this year. So let's go ahead and take a look here. For the year, at the moment, we're 612 pips above the open. So it looks like we're going to close up on the pound dollar for the year. And let's see, I guess we should probably uh, take a look at the week also. All the uh, weekly open gaps have filled across the board here. According to the dashboard, we're 16 pips above the weekly open. That could change by the end of the day. Um, I'm sure things are going to wrap up and slow down. People want to start to get ready to celebrate the new year, right? And... We are in the opening range right here for the month. And notice we had an inside bar three days ago, and we're also inside the that inside bar range. And we've got a handful of inside bar action across the board here. And I haven't heard from very many traders who are trading the inside bar. I'm wondering if uh, there's anybody out there doing that. Please let me know if you are. And we've got six pairs over 100 pips with the Swiss franc Japanese yen leading coming in at 234 pips. You can see the dollar yens drop almost down to the uh, 140 level. We're at 141.71. Remember, it was at 151 not too long ago. And looking at the buy zone for today, you can see crisscrossing that open a few times. And we actually hit the launch pad once and launched. Second time failed. It looks like there's a bunch of action right around the uh, 2700 level. But looking at the chart, it seems like it wants to crack that level. And Red Rats had a feast earlier or did they maybe not that was only 52 pips from here to here but they if anybody did take that short they were uh rewarded and the green rats feasted once looks like they might want to get ready to feast a second time Bambino Flex Indicator. You know, I'm wondering if I should also make a uh, take a look at something. I wonder if uh, said for the month to go long I'm wondering how accurate that is if 
on the monthly. Maybe we can play that next month and, and see. I might have to put it over on this chart. So looking at the H4 pivots, you can see we've been taking out those H4 pivots. A lot of times if it misses one, it takes a couple of days. You can see here it missed one, took about a day, and start honing in on those. We took out today's pivot, we took out the week, but we haven't taken out the month. So it looks like we're going to close the year with two missed pivots. Last year we had one, two, three missed pivots. In fact, we missed December last year also. And then you have to go a ways back to find more missed pivots on the monthly. Actually, I wanted to look at one other thing here. Just do a nice yearly analysis. Weekly pivots, we've only missed two for the entire year. Let's see. In 2022, we missed four. And then, once again, you have to go all the way back to 2014. So, and, and these are pretty big misses right now. But who knows, probably one of these will probably get taken out next year. Maybe both. Actually, it's possible that none of these get taken out if price uh, continues to go up. And maybe we take out the 2022s. Hey, let me know what uh, traders, what you traders think. Are we going to take out the 2023 pivots? Or are we going to take out the 2022 pivots? I think the pound goes down from here. But as I mentioned the other day, about looking for versus looking at and you can think all you want but you trade what you see <laughs> and here looking at the range for the week only 144 pips at the moment I think we can trade we can move this up to the month so you can see we had a big range last month this month only at the 25 percentile Looking at 12 months worth. Monthly range. Or rumps of the uh, high minus previous high. We had 95. We didn't break out of the low. High minus close. 121. Close minus low. 207. So rats were rewarded. Buy zone. Or... Monthly open crossover traders, 204 to the north, 123 to the south. Once again, showing how a simple horizontal line trade can give you the opportunity to make money. And for the week here, you can see for the... Uh, Red rats, high minus close, 116. Green rats, close minus low, 20, uh, 30 at the moment. Once again, very small weekly range. And uh, buy zone or weekly open crossover traders, 140 to the north, but only 4 to the south. You can see here, it didn't really uh, move down much. You see, we broke the previous day's low, but it pushed back above it. Once again, these lines in the sand, you can trade with the candle color. And I shifted. Remember, I like to use M30 because of the uh, price action where 
Uh, a lot of times the previous candle gets covered. So you can see here, it's trying to cover. We still have 15 minutes left in this hour, 14 minutes left in the hour. Uh, now 13 minutes. And it looks like it wants to cover right here. So once again, horizontal lines trading with candle color. worth about eight pips at the moment and you can see some gaps right there we had a lower high trigger here off of a three ball good for 15 pips okay looking back at the year accumulated range we have not pushed since the last half last six months we've not expanded let's see have we had any wow in 2010 it was the last eight months didn't expand so it looks like price has kind of been range bound in the monthly. Let's take a look at range by month. Only 328 pips so far this month. Doesn't look like that's going to change. And if we look at the ATR, average true range, 499. So once again, we are lagging, or the pound is lagging in this particular case. And for those of you, you know, trade other pairs if you're still watching. Just remember, you can apply this analysis to, you know, any pair or any instrument um, that you're trading. You can see here, ATR percents only 66 so we only had one month that exceeded ATR this year. And finally, percentage pounds up 5% from the open, the yearly open. And on the uh, trade reminder there's looking at the uh, monthly and prices turning up buyer strong control still on the weekly price turning up inside the upper wick zone buyers strong control but on the daily I looked at that wrong weekly um, previous bar was an inside bar inside the upper wick zone higher high higher low with the daily price is turning down at the moment we're inside that lower wick zone I'm just barely above the open at the moment and sellers weak control so fellow traders i hope you had a profitable year and if you haven't then i hope you can turn it around next year and when you come back to trade next year always remember and never forget it's not what you trade it's how you trade it so go out there and drain the banks and thank you everybody who's come to the channel subscribed and watched i appreciate it and uh i look forward to seeing you next year this is the rumpled one over and out